Maria represents the port of Buenos Aires in all its variety, the good and the bad. Maria dies but reincarnates every day again, just like the day fades into the night and opposite. Maria is also a metaphor for the tango and represents a lifestyle which is closely linked with the original of this dance and music and lives in every Argentinian soul. Every night the tango dies, together with the whores and pimps and the whole of Buenos Aires. To rise again the next day in all this glory, full of passion and lust of life, but also full of fear and sorrow. The music calls to the dark ghosts, the jealousy and the fights of the gauchos and porteños, the losing of friends and beloved, the confrontation of death resurrection. When Maria dances a tango with them, she throws herself in perdition and dies with them. It is this dark side of man that has been fascinating me since ever in the tango, death in all his hybrid appearances. In the middle of the 60s, the tango viejo was really almost dead. The hype was over and had become a custom-made product, until the Uruguayan writer and poet Horacio Ferrer met bandoneonist Astor Piazzolla. Together they created an original tango operita, a real opera on the layer of tango music. Ferrer wrote a lush libretto, dramatic, surrealistic and even sometimes cruel, putting at the surface some deep paints. Piazzolla wrote intriguing music, sometimes full of happiness and simplicity, while in the essence always a sad thought reigned on which you could dance, dancing with a tear behind your eyes. Ferrer and Piazzolla were hated and despised as being the gravediggers of the tango, while at the same time they let him arise in its full beauty. In this production, I have tried to evoke the magic and despair of the tango as sharp as possible. Far away still sounds the dango, the drum beat of the African burial procession that was at the birth of the tango, the woman that has to follow the man as a shadow during the eternal repeating square procession. The wild beating of the horse's feet in the white pampas is stylist to unique choreography. Death is present all over, personified by mysterious, omnipresent, silent actor. The tormented soul of the people searches her way out through psychiatry and psychoanalysis that had hype in the 60s in Argentina. The symbolism of the voodoo, hidden but present in the cryptic but even sometimes hermetic text of Ferrer, is becoming alive during the black masses. The narrator is a real duende, a ghost that recites the story of Maria and thus of the tango in a masterly manipulating way. 
In a visionary trance, he even encounters the three masks of James Ensor from The Masks and the Death, one of my favorite paintings in the showcase of Belgian surrealism and also of the symbolism, both characteristics of the Argentinian soul. So the smile of Maria becomes a desperate grimace, death in all his glory. Only by the voices of the past she discovers some consolation in a bar in Buenos Aires, where the tango, and thus she herself, is dying every night again. All these elements and ingredients have driven me to stage this tango operetta. The tango is not dead, and in Buenos Aires the horse are still cruising the streets. But life is still not giving much hope, and the country is still dying. Friends are fighting each other, and families die. The resurrection has to be gone soon. <laughs>